What up, y'all? It's your boy Fat Boy checking in again with another recap. This is a little different, right? Like this channel, if you're your first time viewing me, um, I only do battle rap reviews. Pretty much. That's all I do on this channel. It's the first time I'm doing something a little different. So if it's your first time viewing me, I appreciate the watch. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, yo, the fucking button is right there. Just hit subscribe, hit the alert so you can follow me from now on. Um, I'm doing a reaction video to the Takashi 69 interview on the Breakfast Club. Uh, I was inspired to watch it by somebody else that I watched, Three Letter Man. Shout out to Three Letter Man. He also does battle rap reviews and other hip hop or PSA hip hop. Um, go, go check out his channel if you're not aware. Um, so they was discussing the interview. I figured I would go actually watch the interview and give my take on the interview. Now, let me give you my opinion how I felt going into the interview so you can understand where I'm at now. I'm an old head. I mean, I'm what niggas would consider old head at this point. I'm 35. So, to me, I'm still young. I still like young shit. I like to have fun, play video games, Madden, all that shit, and listen to battle rap, and I like to do, you know, cool shit. Look at me. I'm old as fuck. I say I like to do cool shit. <laughs> I think I'm young. Fuck out of here. So, anyway... <laughs> I think I'm young as shit. So anyway, right? Um, I go into this video in regards to the music that's out right now. I don't fuck with the music that's out right now. At all. The content is usually trash to me. The concept of uh, dumping constant repetitive hooks into the mute the media the, mu the, the music industry is just trash to me it's just like you get sick of hearing that shit i dropped the top on the bugatti i dropped the top on the bugatti or wh whatever the fuck the song is or i'm just using that as an example right saying the same shit on the hook is trash to me and all these niggas do that they just repeat the shit my my perspective on it is like when meek mills got hot when Meek Mills really got popping everybody like recycled this nigga's flow and just start doing their own version of it when Future came out his shit I won't say it was the same as Meek Mill but they had a similar flow so between the two of these niggas most of what the music you hear right now the flow sounds like that and my generation of rap everybody rap different it may sound a little similar just because everybody was rapping at a regular pace. It wasn't necessarily on a cadence. But all of what you hear right now in hip-hop is the same shit from most of these niggas. And then the, you got the Migos and shit. Most of that shit is fucking mumbling. You can't understand what these niggas are saying. It's a lot of artists that's out right now. I'm keeping it tall because, you know, we having a little chat, me and you, right? We're watching. The Migos. What, what, what's the nigga's name? Quavo, Offset, I don't even know the third nigga name, I guess he not popping, I don't know, I don't know shit, um, <laughs> I don't know the nigga name, um, I know, I hear names like, uh, A Boogie, Lil Zan, this is a nigga that disrespect Tupac, right, fuck that nigga, he's trash for doing that shit, that was bullshit, um, but a lot of these little niggas, I didn't fuck with them, I didn't fuck with them just when the strength was like, that's not my generation, not so much, I hope these niggas ain't successful, they all trash like the music is trash not necessarily that i felt like the music was trash i just felt like the generation itself to me was like it's it ain't got no substance to it like it don't hold nothing you niggas not really talking about nothing if you listen to music right now all these niggas keep talking about is i'll fuck your bitch and i'm getting money look at all this ice around my neck and i'm a, I'm, a, I'm a gangster or whatever now, I know a lot of niggas gonna say, damn, no, the old school niggas was doing the same shit. Nah, my nigga, but these niggas actually had lyrical content, which is my only concern. I don't give a fuck that that's all you rap about, because the other niggas in the past did the same shit. But it was the content, it was the, it's the lyrical ability and the wordplay which made it hip hop, which made it what we like to listen to back in the day, which is why. I only listen to battle rap nowadays. Like, I don't even fuck with niggas' CDs and their music because a lot of these niggas don't really give you no content. These new motherfuckers, like, there's no content in that shit. And we know you a gangbanger, my nigga. We know you, you fuck niggas' bitches. 
All right, what about it, though? Like, give me some content. Like, you saying the same shit every fucking song. So it's like, I had no interest in it whatsoever at all. Not much of that has changed. So in regards to the interview, I felt like the nigga probably is just a, a troller. He like the troll. The troll shit is trash to me. I don't, I don't fuck with the troller shit. Let's keep it a buck. It's, it's trash. Like... You do shit just to get a reaction, which is what this generation is all about. It's a whole bunch of motherfuckers doing whatever they can think of to get people to watch them just to get the views up. And I mean, if you're doing it to get the bag and it actually works and you get the bag, that's that's fire. Salute. You know me, I'll, I'll salute anybody getting that money. You feel me? But for me, as a nigga at 35, I like a different style of music and I like a different, I like a different brand. So you're not gonna sell me on trolling and all the antics and all the fucking the, 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 the dumb shit and these niggas like fucking having big ass stacks of money and just throwing it in the air and doing all this stupid ass shit with it like my nigga okay you got money you flaunting it and doing all that other shit it's really cornball shit like what the fuck we know you got money so what's the point of you doing these videos with the money and shit like I don't know what's the nigga name YG I don't know I don't know these niggas names I'm not even gonna front we're not gonna sit up here and play games cause I don't lie on my channel my nigga I don't know none of these niggas names like that so, it's a lot. I'm sitting here like that. Niggas probably watching me right now like, this nigga really don't know none of the names and none of these niggas. I don't know these niggas' names, yo. I can't tell you a young Dolph from from YG from to, I don't know. I couldn't tell you none of them niggas, bro. I really don't. Um, But the Takashi interview. Yeah, he a troller. Um, I like the nigga. Yeah, I like the nigga. I think he, I think he got, um, he got a way about him that I think it make him dope. You feel me? Like he not some nobody in the mind ass nigga. Like the antics and the shit you give off give you the perspective that you just some low ass kid who just stupid as shit, and you do a bunch of dumb ass shit, and the trolling don't help. So it's like if you wanna. Tap into a different fan base, you may want to change that. If you don't, who the fuck am I to be trying to recruit me? I'm 35. Like, why you ain't gotta give a fuck about what I'm doing? I'm not gonna buy none of your CDs anyway, because that's not my era of music. But as far as the interview itself, I didn't really take much away from the interview. It was a it was an interview, my nigga. Um, Charlemagne did what he usually tried to do. He tried to incite a bunch of fucking uh wild ass reaction out of people with the shit, the shit that he asked or try to get a motherfucker to come out of character and he do a pretty good job at that but he couldn't really rouse shorty up like he was trying but he didn't get there so basically Takashi was cutting this nigga off and was like hey we're not doing that we're not playing that game today I'm gonna troll you you're not gonna troll me today and I kind of fuck with that shit I kind of fuck with this shit, and um, it was kind of dope. It was dope to see the roles get reversed and the games get played, and like he really was in control of that shit, and I really fuck with it. The gangbang shit, I'm just like, eh, I don't really take this nigga serious. Just from my era, my nigga, I seen real niggas do real shit, and that's not to say that he not real. I don't know this nigga personally, but I, it's not believable to me. You run around with rainbow hair and run around with bloods and crips i'm not saying that these niggas don't probably don't do that these days but my era you didn't see bloods hanging with no crips and if you did the mayor was in the picture my nigga like a government official somebody was there like bring peace to the streets type shit it wasn't no these niggas was all in the block making music videos like you didn't see that shit in my generation so it's like a lot of this new shit us older fans can't fuck with it and it's like it's not it's not nothing new that older people don't fuck with the younger people. But for me, just to clear up my angle on all this, it's the, the concept of what you niggas, the, the fabric of what you're putting out. Not the concept, the fabric. The fabric of it is bullshit. And it don't have nothing to it. It's not something you can make an older person relate to connection-wise. It's like, I'm relating to this nigga now because I got to know his personality a little bit. So I can, I can vibe with the nigga a little bit more. 
Now, I never listened to none of his music prior to about a half hour ago. None of it. And to be honest, I'm not even sure I even heard any of them tracks like by accident or on the radio at some point. But I listened to, I did, I went and listened. I listened to, uh, I think it's called Cuda. I listened to uh, Billy, which I fuck with Billy. I thought that was a dope track. And it's another track like Gummo. So I went and listened to them three. I'm guessing they probably three of the five main tracks he got out that people really fucking with or his main shit. Of the three tracks, I like Billy the most, and it, they was all right. They wasn't, they wasn't bad. But here's what I peep though: peep the move. I fuck with the tracks because I can actually hear what this nigga is saying. That's a big fucking part of it. I can hear what this nigga is saying. Not all of it. I'm not gonna front. I can't hear all of it. I, maybe I'll listen a few more times, but I'm not gonna listen a few more times. If the shit come on out, I might listen. But I'm not searching for that shit. I'm not checking for that shit. I'm not downloading it. And it's not even on no hate shit. Salute to the nigga. I hope he getting all the bread that he got coming to him. Yeah, maybe he do need to calm down the antics and the bullshit to save face. Like, my nigga, if you're a gangster, be a gangster, my nigga. You said it yourself. Like, you know, real gangsters just do shit. They don't got to talk about it. My nigga, if you let your nut hang, pause. If you let your nuts hang, if that's what you niggas say these days any fucking way, do that shit, but you ain't gotta be provoking motherfuckers to come touch your gangster. Just do your shit. Gangsters ain't asking other gangsters to come out to the party. You feel me? You just do your shit. So it's like, I actually like Takashi Six Nine. No, I'm not gonna fuck with the music because he don't deliver me lyrical content. Which is again, this is this is a battle rap channel. This is why I listen to battle rap. I like the wordplay, the multis, the the the, the metaphors, the all that shit. The punchlines, the, the all that shit, the schemes. You're gonna sell me on all that. You're not gonna sell me on the other bullshit. I just can't fuck with it. Period. So that's my take on uh, my reaction to watching the Dakashi Six Nine video. I hope you niggas enjoy my my little version of whatever was supposed to be relevant here. <laughs> I just like to have fun. You wanna fuck with me? Fuck with my other shit that I posted recently. My last two or three videos. I have a little more fun. This was a little more straightforward, but yo, salute to y'all. I appreciate you fucking with me. I support the culture, and I 